What's up, my boss babes, y'all? Back with another video, okay? So, yes, y'all, feeling good, feeling blessed today, y'all. Okay, so today's message is... Oh, sorry, y'all. How y'all doing today? You doing good? Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, so, y'all, today's video is going to be after all that you went through and all that your enemies put you through. God still chose to bless you, okay? God still chose to bless you, boss babes. <laughs> God is so good. Let's just take a second to just, just think about how good God is. Like, I wish I could see what kind of rear I'm looking from right now. Uh, It ain't all, it's not that all pretty out here. But if you just look at the trees, like, I'm the type of person, I'm a simplistic person, like, it's something so small could grasp my attention. Like looking at a nice, beautiful tree or the sunset or some a little baby bird just with his mommy bird. Like that type of stuff just makes my heart just be like, I don't know. It just does something to me. I don't know. That's just how I am. But yes, y'all. Um, And I know my boss babes. There's some of us out here like that. So if you like that, drop a little comment. Let me know if you're a nature girl or you, or you like to be inside. It's okay. It ain't nothing wrong with it. It ain't nothing wrong with it. But, um, yes, boss, babe, God is so good. So despite everything that you went through, you know, God is still choosing to bless you. Okay. So don't underestimate small beginnings. Don't underestimate yourself just because you feel like, oh, this person got this and I got this. They ahead of me. They, they, they could possibly even be the same age as you. And you feel like, oh, they are doing further in their life than you are. Now we don't never want to compete with, you know, nobody. Or, or and the Bible tells us to not be envious of evildoers. Okay, so we can't be envious of people when they have more possessions than us if they're not doing the right things to get it. Okay, if they're doing, you know, things like witchcraft or you know, just betraying people, scamming, whatever it is that they're doing to get whatever money that they're getting or whatever blessings that they're getting. We can't be envious of that, those type of things. The Bible instructs us not to be envious of those type of things because he knows that that's not a work of him. That's not a work of God. That's a work of the flesh, you know? And sometimes when God puts us through a, a season where we're in poverty, it's because he wants to teach us something. He wants to mold us into something. I really am grateful that God had put me um, in East Lake and I was able to like learn different things because I'm a, I'm a city girl. I'm from not a city girl like that, but I was born in California and then moved when I was two. So don't know nothing about it. But then I lived in Virginia as a kid. Virginia is more of a city. You know, they got the beach. I stayed, I lived in Virginia Beach, Virginia. They got the beach. You know, it's a lot of people, um, it's not a lot of friendly people up there and stuff like that. Still got to, you know, uh, you know, it's still not that like crowded, but it's, it's it's more crowded than Chattanooga, Tennessee, I can tell you that. So, But yes, I'm glad that God moved me here because I was able to get in a different mindset. And I think sometimes when God puts you in certain situations, it's so he can like mold you to be better. So you don't be judgmental and pass judgment, judgment on people that come from different walks of life. You know, there's going to be people in the body of God that might be hood. There's going to be people that might be a little ratchet because God's still working on them. <laughs> There's might be a people who are shy, who are timid, but you know, we all got to come together and praise God all together. You know what I'm saying? And help one another. You know what I'm saying? That's what we here for to help one another. So yes, y'all, God has been so good to me, y'all. God has been so good to me. And despite everything that I've been through, y'all, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys for being on this journey with me. I appreciate you guys for supporting me, for leaving comments. And, and just letting me know that you care about me, you, you support my messages, and, and my messages have helped you. I appreciate you guys very much because that when I see those comments, that's really what keeps me going and keeps me wanting to keep doing this YouTube because sometimes I'll be like, you know, when the spiritual warfare hit, I'll be like, do I, should I still do this? But I guess God tries to affirm me by y'all dropping my boss babes dropping a comment letting me know hey thank you for this message but yes y'all i'm sorry i'm rambling on i'm just so excited so y'all god got some big blessings for you okay so just because you might be starting off small don't underestimate small beginnings okay because something small can turn into something big as long as you are consistent with it with consistency you know what i'm saying no 
you get that thing on popping off in that thing. You get that business popping. You can get that whatever you are trying to do. You can get it popping, but you got to be consistent, y'all. And I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't been consistent with my YouTube, y'all. I'm so sorry. It's just sometimes I get distracted and I'm still, God's still working on me. So sometimes, you know, I don't have the energy to come on this video and tell y'all this and that, tell y'all that. But I need to get better with that. I really do. That's something I need to work on. But boss babes, just know you got blessings coming up on the way, okay? You might feel like the blessings is not there. You might be looking like, where they at though? You might be looking like that. But they coming. They coming. And those who hurt you and those who mistreated you, they going to be trying to come back. They going to be trying to come back. But like I said, y'all go to God. And some of them folks, y'all just need to stay them, let them stay where they at. I don't care if they apologize. If they do apologize, that's very good. Accept it. Don't be bitter about it. Accept it. And move forward with your life. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Yeah, just accept it and move on. Like it ain't no it ain't no point of being mad at them because what you gotta realize is them folks that went up against you, whether it was with gossip, slander, lies, mistreatment, magic, whatever they did, they brought you closer to God. So really they brought they brought you closer to your blessings. Okay. <laughs> ain't God good. So ain't no sense of, ain't no sense to be mad at them folks. That's what they want. They want you to be mad. But baby, you sitting pretty. Okay, so it ain't no reason to be mad. It ain't no reason to be mad. God is good. God going to continue to bless you as long as you follow uh, his commandments. And don't bite the bait. Don't bite the enemy's bait. The, the enemy going to try to trick you at your spot. The enemy going to try to make you feel like what you got is not good for real. Don't let don't let the devil trick you. Don't let him trick you. I don't care who he's seeing to come and tell you uh, or something. If it, if whatever somebody coming and telling you, if it goes against what God has already shown you, do not listen to it. Always listen to God. I don't care if God showed you a dream, a vision, a a a a a, a, a sermon like you watched the pastor and you and you seen the sermon on YouTube, or you went to church and you heard a sermon that spoke life into you. Whatever God has told you, you need to believe and trust in God and trust that He's going to get you what He told you. A lot of times, people don't have the same vision as you, so they're not going to really understand what God is taking you to because. God not showing them. He's showing it to you. Okay. And a lot of people don't got faith for real. But the Bible say, if you got faith as small as a mustard seed, y'all, and the mustard seed by this big, baby, you, you, you can move mountains. So as long as you just got a little tea, a little tea, baby, a little tea, you can make it though. You can make it to wherever God has told you that he was going to get you to. I love God because every time... He shows me something, I get discouraged, but then I remember what he showed me, and it helped me to know, okay, I got to keep pushing, I got to keep going. Every time you get discouraged from whatever you're doing, whatever the case is, just think about what God promised you. You're going to finish with what you started. Amen? You're going to finish what you started. What God told you that you're going to do, you're going to finish it. Okay, we ain't doing no more of that. We starting stuff and we ain't finishing. Now nah, over here, boss babes, we finish what we start. Okay, I love y'all, my, my boss babes, y'all. This is the end of this message. Just know your blessings are on the way. Your blessings are already here. They you at the door, really. You really at the door. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, you at the door. <laughs> Bye, my boss babes, y'all. I love you guys. Stay bossed up.